that's my type. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. You are winner, Julia Renee. Good morning, Buff Babes and Bros, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Julia Renee, and I am an IFBB Wellness Pro. And today, I'm going to take you on a day in the life of an IFBB Pro. So, since we're in improvement season, that doesn't mean that we are stopping the gas. Because we have goals, and if I just were to fall off and do nothing, then I wouldn't be any steps closer to my goals. So, I'm going to take you along with my day. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a future video. I know you haven't done it yet. So, do it. So we can be friends. Okay, so we're starting the morning off with some cardio. And I like to start off with a podcast. You know, something that's going to get me in the right mindset, that's going to teach, learn me something. So I am going to find one that we're going to listen to while I am doing my cardio. I'm actually going to finish Evolve with Emily's most recent one which is about, she was interviewing a nurse, so I'm gonna finish that one while we do some cardio. Oh. by split stretching <coughs> I'm determined to get my splits eventually I am NOT a flexible person whatsoever but since I've been doing those I think I've been going on maybe two and a half to three weeks now I've gotten so much closer and I'm pairing it with yoga once a week which is really helping me so if you guys want to do it with me do it with me. I've been doing those stretches for a while and it's getting me a lot closer. So now we're going to go home and we're going to cook some breakfast. I love going home cooking breakfast because then I get to just like, what am I craving today? So I'll think about that on the drive home. <laughs> have decided that for breakfast we are going to have tacos. I don't know why, but I was driving home and I was like, I want some tacos. That sounds like a good option. So we're going to make some turkey tacos. So first we're just going to get everything kind of prepared and ready to put on the Le Skillet. And for the tortilla, I'm going to use the whole wheat carb sense tortillas. I don't know why, but for some reason, the whole wheat ones to me taste better. I'm not getting them for any specific purpose just because I like the taste better. So let's get the ingredients mixed together. Okay, so I'm gonna get a pan, turn it on to medium heat, and we are going to spray this with some nonstick spray. We also have a colmal heating up over here. This is for tortillas. 
and I'm gonna get the ingredients for this mixed up. All right, first I'm going to measure out, I think I'm gonna do two ounces of, I think this is, yeah, 93.7 turkey. Two ounces. And then I'm going to cut my pepper. So I already did a portion of this. So I'm gonna bring it from the top to the bottom and you just pull it out like that. I know I'm not cutting with a cutting board, guys. Come on, I eat so many times a day. I just don't wanna take it out that many times. So now we're gonna put this in with the turkeys. Then we're just gonna put a little bit of sea salt and my fave taco seasoning. Give it a good mix. Bring it over here, let it cook. I'm literally trying to open these egg whites and I can't. What the heck? Hold on. Ugh. Nailed it. And after wrestling with the egg whites, we're gonna do a half a cup of egg whites. All right, we got this going. Now we're going to add the egg whites. Let that cook. Now we're gonna put the tortillas on and let them cook. Then on the side, I'm gonna do one serving of fat-free Greek yogurt. So now that we're done with my little morning routine, have breakfast, have my coffee, do my journaling, do my goal setting, and read a little bit of this book, How to Do the Work by Dr. Nicole LaPera. So I'll have it linked below just in case that you guys want to um, start reading it. But this is the new book that I've been reading. I'm on chapter four i believe and this is a really good book for anybody that is wanting to get into a little bit more about just learning about themselves and just being more self-aware this is a super simple guide and i've already had a lot of people that have been getting it because they've seen me uh reading it and it's just so helpful like within the first page or two you're already so hooked and it's a really easy read it's not too complicated and it will really hit home for a lot of people so i've been reading a little bit of this but now i'm just going to work for a couple of hours until i need to eat again <laughs> Oh 
Okay, so for lunch, I am going to be making a chicken stir fry. I'm gonna put the video up here of how to make it. It was from a previous video and I've been loving it because it is so much food for such little calories. So right here we have the veggies going and then I'm just going to plop in a half a bag of frozen cauliflower rice in it. different this time was I added some chicken to it so instead of one cup of egg whites I did a half a cup of egg whites and then three ounces of chicken and now it's like a chicken stir fry and I get to eat all of this food by myself my mouth is literally watery I almost drooled in here <laughs> We've been working for quite a little bit. Now we're gonna go train some legs, but first I need to put some makeup on. Yay! Mm -hmm. A little bit of glow so I don't look like death going to the gym. I don't know about y'all, but how does this work? This goes on top. I decide what I'm going to wear to the gym based off of what I'm training that day. It's really, it really comes down to a science. <laughs> oh yeah. I love me this one. Usually I don't like things that are like leopard print or zebra print because it reminds me of like, like a, like a kooky, cool grandma that's like, I'm the cool grandma and I wear leopard and zebra. I don't know. Tell me if you guys think the same thing. There we go. Yeah. We are good. Not too shabby. Should I go to the gym like this? Let's roll. All right, so I am actually going to be doing this workout today. 
because this is usually my Saturday workout, my last leg day of the week workout, but I won't be able to work out on that day. So I'm gonna be doing it today. So if you want to pause the video and take a look at this, I'll also have the workout on screen for you guys to see, but this is what we're working with. I know it's a bunch of random stuff, but I need to do random in order to work on my random areas that need work. Booty ass workout. Booty ass? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, you guys know that lately it's just been a struggle. I spit. A struggle for me to have the motivation that I did to go and train super heavy and hard at the gym. But when I go there, I'm just kind of like going through the motions. But I'm still trying because I know that it's going to come back and the gym is something that I love and I love the feeling of lifting so much and I always know that it ends up coming back. It's just one of those moments where I'm hitting like a lull and you know, if you're out there, you watching and you're feeling the same way as me, I feel ya. You just go into the gym and you're like, why am I here? Ugh, everything's just like more difficult. You're not like as excited, but 
it'll come back. I know it will. So I'm going to go home, which I am excited about, is getting some food in my dummy. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, baby. Uh, look how sexy she is. I haven't had one of these in a hot minute. So this is their grilled chicken sandwich. It's one of their lower calorie sandwich options. And it's freaking good. So if you get this one and you pair it with some buffalo sauce, the buffalo sauce is one of their lowest calorie ones. It's like 10 calories per serving. And like the Chick-fil-A sauce and like the ranch per one is like 140, 140 calories to 250 calories just for one of these. So this is the lowest calorie one. And this one is not too shabby. It's all about balance, people. And we can add this to today's macros. Mm. Um, Diet Dr. Pepper. Come here. Come on. Come on. Vision. You ready to go? You ready? Here we go for a walk. Okay. Whoa. He literally gets so excited to walk that he pees and walks at the same time because he just can't stop to pee because that's just a big waste of time. Okay, so y'all know how I love my sweets. So lately I have been concocting new recipes. I have been researching them and I wanted to share some with you that I found on a couple of channels. And I'm trying to remember the channels, but I will link them down below where I found them. And they're just so so good and they're low calorie and there's a lot of it. So I'm gonna share with you three of those recipes that I absolutely love. Okay, first we are going to be making cookie dough. So you're going to need a bowl. And then first we are going to put 30 grams of a vegan protein powder. This one is first form. The link is going to be down below so you guys can save on shipping. And then we are going to put 20 grams of PB2. Da, 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 da. And now we are going to add our sweetener. So you can kind of sweeten it to however much you like. But I like to do two of those. And then we also are going to mix all this dry ingredients together. Okay, once all your dry ingredients is mixed, we are going to put one teaspoon of vanilla. And this can be optional, but I'm gonna put one crack of sea salt. I like to have like the salty and sweet flavor. And now we're going to slowly add in our milk of choice. And then little by little, we're going to mix and then add until it starts creating a cookie dough-like consistency. Now that our cookie dough is more of a cookie dough consistency, we are going to add in 14 grams of chocolate chips. And here we have our cookie dough, lots of it, low calorie, tastes delicious. Next, we're gonna be making a chocolate almost like an icing or a mousse. So in one bowl, first you're going to want 150 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt. This one's actually the vanilla flavored one. And then you're going to want to put a tablespoon and a half of sugar-free Jello pudding mix. And this is what the box looks like, just in case you're wondering. You can mix this in with so many things, very low calorie. 
And then next we're going to sweeten it. So I'm going to do a half teaspoon and another half teaspoon. Now we're going to mix this together. Now once it's all mixed together, it should look a little something like this. And now we put our toppings. And to make this extra chocolatey, I'm actually going to add two grams of unsweetened cacao. Mix that in. Ooh. Now if you add the cacao in, it's gonna make it a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna throw in a splash of cashew milk and mix that in. And it should look like this. And here's what it looks like. You can top it with some fat-free whipped cream, a little bit of chocolate chips and some strawberries, or you can mix the chocolate chips in, whatever you want to do. You can use this as like a dip for a chip, which I've been doing with some Quaker chips, and it's really good. Okay, next we're making protein ice cream. So we're gonna need a blender and I'm gonna put a cup of my milk of choice in. Then we're going to need one scoop of protein powder, which is about 30 grams of protein. This one is strawberry cheesecake from First Form. Okay, next I'm going to put a fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum. This is a thickening agent and it is very potent so don't use too much. Now I'm gonna put in a cup of frozen strawberries. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sweetener. Sweeten this to your liking. And now we blend. Topped it with some PB2, some fat-free whipped cream, and a little bit of cinnamon. You can really just top this with anything that you'd like, and look how much you get. This is a giant bowl for very little calories. Now I get three different desserts to choose from for tonight's dessert, so lucky me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some insight on what my day-to-day -day is looking like. I'm really having fun during this improvement season. I really am. And I'm happy you guys are still along here with me because this isn't over. We have more, more to accomplish. And I love you all so much and you are more powerful than you think. Bye.